I was at home. I was about to like do some work on my computer, uh -huh. and I picked up my phone, and I had a text from you and a text from Candace. And I opened my phone, and you had was, texted me the TMZ, TMZ story. Yeah. So TMZ told me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hell no. I learned yeah. via text, via phone call, mm -hmm. via firehouse, via mm -hmm. smoke Alarm signal, system. carrier pigeon. Uh, yeah, it was a mess. It was a mess. Yes. Everybody was talking about it, and it was well known. You never really want to be on TMZ. Like, never. Well, not like that. Yes. Yeah. But from there, I just started feeling very sorry for Ashley. I 100% supported my husband. Unlike where Karen was demanding that Ray apologize to her um, when his tax stuff came out, which and totally threw him under the bus, uh, I was really there for my husband and I supported him and I wanted him to know that I had his back no matter what. And that reaffirmed, I think, Tim, how much I care about him, how much I love him, and how I'm always going to be there for him. This is just, you know, how I imagine it went down. Michael walked past him, allegedly grabbed his butt, thought it was funny, and the guy was not very happy. Allegedly, the guy was so angry he wanted to fight. But he ended up leaving the scene and went and talked to whoever he needed to talk to to say, I want to kill him. But it, of course not. I was on my little computer and a little pop-up came up about Mr. Michael. I just want to make sure you're okay. What popped up? Oh. Um, apparently he's getting sued by uh -huh. a cameraman because he touched his butt. Oh, really? This is like on TMZ. Oh, TMZ. Okay. Um, okay. And it kind of like scared me because it said that he could potentially be um, sentenced to 11 years in jail, which sure. I find strange for a butt squeeze. We had a preliminary case and the judge threw it out. I mean, what's really going on? Oh, you, so you know all about this. this yeah, I know that. about, yeah, no, this, that isn't new. This issue was very significant. And I needed to talk to my husband about it first. I'm not going to say or do anything to any to anybody else without first talking to Michael about it. Because in reality, this really is him. This is, this is his reputation. And I want to take heed and really respect every decision that he wants me to make. If this were about me, maybe my reaction would have been different. But out of respect for Michael, it just wasn't the appropriate time to say anything to Giselle. It was, it was confusing. Mm -hmm. It was confusing. If my husband was on TMZ with an allegation like that, allegedly, mm -hmm. I would be like, girl, what, huh? Wait a minute, hold up. Like, those would be my first words. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be like, oh, it's fine. That was my first hoedown. It was my first hoedown. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. my last hoedown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was actually like, pretty fun. I hadn't never seen Katie's farm. And then we get there and you know, it's, it's a little on the scruffy side to say the least. All of a sudden now you can't talk. And everybody's supposed to bow down. Oh, I can't talk about it. Karma is a bitch, honey. Karen, Karma is a bitch. You. I'm not, I ain't there, but uh, the IRS and stuff You, you know what, and, so and clank 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 de clank Really? The bar of soap? Yeah. You might want to help your husband. I, 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 I really need to prop my feet up now, yeah. please. <laughs> my body has just been swelling up. I don't know what's happening, but I can't wear any shoes at all. And uh, they look like sausages in casings. So I have to prop them up. Otherwise, my whole leg swells up. Like my knees disappear completely wow, into the abyss. Wow, like Giselle's legs right now. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Karen has been waiting to pounce. I noticed that she didn't say anything to me. She didn't reach out to me. It was like she was waiting for the perfect opportunity to be able to finally, like, jab me, and she did. She seized the opportunity, and I was ready for her because I wasn't surprised, and I was really just waiting for it. She just wanted me to shut the f*** up. Mm -hmm. She just didn't want me to say anything. Let's yes. just keep it real. Yeah. I was just going to say I got right. your back, right. but since you want me to serve you, I will serve you. <laughs> clank to clank. Hello. She never once said anything bad about what y'all were going through. I promise you. Then why the hell did she say it to my face? I don't kick a woman when she's down. I yeah. lift her, or I try to, but in this case, Ashley was not ready to receive to positive. Lifted. I guess yeah. she hadn't done her meditation for the day. Karen made a comment she made a dig okay and then she made this whole clank clank comment about Michael and that's when the just the train went off the tracks wow. we have been the target mm -hmm. of her 
negativity, mm -hmm. her ugliness, and mm -hmm. her aggression, mm -hmm. and her constant twisting of truths and saying we've said something we didn't mm -hmm. say. And I am of the belief that if you keep spewing that negativity, Comes it's back. coming back to roost. The rooster has come home to roost. It's a horrible situation. I'm not celebrating it, but if you come for me, I'm going to call it what it is, mm -hmm. okay? And you came and you got served. Karen was just happy that it was me that was being talked about in the press and not her this time. So, you know. You I've done down. nothing but ride for you since you've been have in this you? situation. Have yes, you I have. Me? Oh, you want yes men. I got it. Right. Okay. You're, you're doing you want yes much. men. Yeah, walk away. Don't start. I will still know. drag you pregnant and all. Oh, you gonna drag me now? I will drag oh, you. you gonna drag me. I'll drag you. Oh, drag me, Monique. Monique and I going at it on the farm was kind of a boil over. I had I been should. harboring a lot of stuff about the way that I felt she was speaking about me, judging me, and just generally coming at me as it related to Ashley. Like, I don't like when people call me a hypocrite. And I'm literally sitting here trying to have a conversation calmly. You did. And you're raising your voice. You're pregnant. And you're getting buck with me. I don't even have the energy to talk that loud, but I do have the energy to drag somebody by their ponytail. Pregnant and all. And I'm sitting there like, well, what just we happened? I shouldn't have been doing that. My husband was very pissed. Was he? <laughs> yes. He was very Candace upset. Candace started it, though. She threatens me. She threatened to drag me. She said she would drag Who you. Does and that? you said drag. Well, I said drag me. Monique, I invited her Monique, to drag. Monique, that was it. You invited her to drag I did. You. And she said, I'll drag you. I have been the main one telling her to her face what everybody's been saying behind her back. True. Stop acting childish. Stop throwing temper tantrums. Like, you live in your mom's house. Get over it. And Why I, couldn't I would you say just that Monique be friends say, with Ashley and keep me out of it? Why is what Ashley and I is going through? Why does it have to? I think she have was very opinionated with, about with her. Monique was clearly very opinionated about how you felt about Ashley and how and you that, handled and Ashley. And that is my issue. I was enjoying every single moment of that. <laughs> like, let's be clear. Every Giselle had nothing to do with the whole damn, okay? And neither did Robin. Yeah. Holes were down on their own. <laughs> nothing to do they with got me. The hell. The ladies have indicated that Giselle might put you up to things sometimes. Oh my gosh! She be playing Robin all the time. Mm -hmm. She talks about Robin's voice. She talks about Robin's shoulders. She calls a linebacker shoulders. She talks about how Robin moved 10 feet down the road and her house is five inches bigger. She said all of those things about her friend. I'm a very strong and confident person. Like, I don't need anyone to tell me what to do. And I don't follow anyone. I'll let Robin take oh. over. Um. Okay, so I thought I was dreaming. Robin always tells me about myself, so I just <laughs> feel like she's always put me in check right. when I need to be, but we do it in a friendship way. Okay, so first order of business, uh -huh. Ashley. When you were gonna go in to apologize, and I said, Robin, you need to apologize, just, just apologize. And you were like, well, no. I heard what I heard, and I said what I said, so no. People are used to me being so like laid back and just, letting people right. be, but I have an opinion and there's a lot of times I will say it. I will say whatever the hell I want to say and sometimes it's in line with her and sometimes it's not. Yes. Of all people, I did not expect for Robin to come with that nonsense at Candace's house. Candace literally had just come at me like a rabid dog. Why right. would you use that time to bring that up and, and tell me that information? I just felt like it was just too much. Like, yeah. Yeah. They, and Robin's like, well, it was Giselle's fault. Giselle instigated it. We all know Giselle's an instigator. That's who she is. But it's up to Robin to be like, well, Ashley, I see that things just got really hot with you and Candace. I'm not going to add on to that. But you decided to do it right then and there to give even more gas to Candace. How you gonna be mad at Robin? You know Robin ain't the brain. Robin is pinky. You know. I honestly feel like Giselle is the brain and Robin is pinky at most times because Giselle is like this master manipulator behind the scenes and I don't even think Robin realizes it at times. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just hating on the fact that we are such good friends. Yeah. And so that's like the one thing that they can pick at. When we were in France and I said I did not want to choose who to give the room to, but I wanted to give it to one of you. So I'll let y'all choose. Giselle, before Robin could even open her mouth, Giselle said, I think Robin, you should have it. Because she knew that Robin would say, no, I think you should have it, Giselle. And since you and Robin had almost like a physical altercation, no, no. then maybe it should go to Robin because we just happened. had verbal. But since well, we accept. almost had a physical altercation, then maybe it should go to Giselle.
Okay, great. <laughs> It was a clear setup. Giselle should have said, no, you're taking it, done deal. If that ain't classic brain, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Men sometimes, they forget. Because as a woman, I have a lot of requests. I ask him to do and not do a lot of things. Okay. And I think in that moment, he forgot. Anytime that I'm talking, she keeps talking over me. I don't want to laugh, because serious. But this is the same stuff I tell you when we argue. When you don't agree with something I say, no, I'm right. This is how it is. When you are trying to grow together as a couple, you got to have that heated moment right in the moment. Oh, we have one. Yeah, I don't like to yeah, table so, things. Yeah, because you'll grow from that. Yeah. I mean, and we do. I'm not doing this. But it's, I'm not, because no, I've, I, no, I'm not. I'm getting upset, because I've asked you not to throw me under the bus I'm like that. And you are. Stop. Yes, you no, are. I'm not. Yes, you like, are. You're taking yes, you this are. way too seriously. I've asked you to stop doing that. Chris is teaching me a lot about how to argue with my mother because mm -hmm. we are mastering the art of a marital argument. Wow. And a lot of it is compromising it's very and compromising. just sitting back and saying, okay, and, or you're right. Yeah. On both sides. Exactly. I have a hard time with that. I have asked you not to use that example and you seem to think that it's okay to use it and I don't like it. It's respect. All I'm saying is you need to be able to see the other side. That's it. It's not the same. The dynamic is not the same. The disrespect and the diminishing is not the same. Jesus Christ, Candace, it's not black or white. There is middle ground. There is no middle ground. Chris also understands me and my passion and my fire. And when I we have something in my other. belly, right. it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna explode, it's gonna come out.